All right, so still trying to get the uh, Donut Drake skin as seen here. Once again, I'm going to tell you which treasures to drop by which bosses, and then I'm going to get right into showing you an extremely quick and effective way to farm for uh, the one that we're going for today. Uh, once again, the skull bead is dropped by the hammer boss at the very end of the map, and uh, showed that in the last video. And the Yama on Buffalo is dropped by one of the bosses at the beginning of the map. I'll explain that because that's what we're doing here. Once again, I want to point out if you don't have both treasures, you want to farm for the skull bead first because you will be going through this boss to get to the other one. It doesn't make any sense to farm this boss 30 times if that's what it takes and then you know have to go through them again each time to get to the next boss so anyway we're gonna run right over here to the left drunks helping me out with this video today and uh you see the carpet bomb uh cluster bomber carpet bomber yeah that's what i was trying to say earlier when you uh play this on crushing he's a cluster bomber when you play it on hard he's a carpet bomber but uh Either way, he's the one that drops the treasure. You see, that's the normal treasure. You see, it says Spanish Goblets. We want it to say Smiling End. And uh, so we know that's not the treasure we want. So we're going to let ourselves die and respawn and do it again. Notice uh, we're just going to run right to this left corner right up here and uh, just unload on him. And watch how quick and easy it is. Um, once again, I point out that's, that's what farming is. You're going to get to the boss. You're going to kill him if he does not give you what you want. Then uh, you need to let yourselves die, throw grenades at your feet, whatever. Uh, do that before you trigger the next checkpoint. As long as you have not triggered the next checkpoint, which would happen if we killed every enemy on this map, um, it'll start us over back at this checkpoint. So we get to shoot the boss again, and uh, and again and again, until we get the treasure that we want. So basically, uh, like I said, if, if you play this on crushing, you also might drop the treasure, but the chances are not increased. The chances are even. And that's a normal treasure again. So uh, basically there's no reason to do this on crushing. Uh, once again, you only get 10 team lives on crushing, but you get 15 on hard. So even though the boss is you know, very close to the beginning of the map, um, it'll save you having to play through that very beginning part too many times. And uh, once again, I need to point out that once you do get the treasure, you need to get a game over screen, either by completing the map or by... Uh, dying enough times that you run out of lives as opposed to that if you were to hit start and leave the game it would not save the fact that you had collected the treasure so that's important to note in case you did not know and uh, once again you notice just how quick and easy it is to just kill this guy within a few moments and um, once you get in that rhythm it's just a matter of time before the game gives you the treasure that you need and basically though this is Treasure farming 101 is not for people who get easily bored. Like I said before, you uh, play with a friend, time will pass a little bit better. He didn't drop any treasure at all right there, but we're down to zero lives. And uh, so anyway, I hope this video has been helpful, showing you a uh, quickest way to just walk through him and which boss drops which. And hope you get that Donut Drake skin pretty soon. Uh, thanks for watching.